Next, we're gonna fill the water tanks. We're gonna test for leaks. We're gonna test to make sure that the system is working, the pumps are working, the nozzles are working, that there's no plugs in the nozzles, anything clogged. Uh, your water fill is gonna be located in the right-hand side or cab entry side fender. We'll flip this open, put our prop in, pull the hydrant hose. Connect to the hydrant from there. We're gonna fill the tank. The tank is 230 gallons of water that it'll hold. Uh, when the tank is full, you'll find an overflow over the front wheel. So when you see water start to uh, flood out over top of the wheel itself or the front of the wheel itself, your tank is full, turn the water off. We come to the back. Your water pumps are located uh, right under the rear cover. When we swing our oil cooler open, radiator open, you're gonna find two water pumps. On the side of the water pump, for any reason, if we ever needed to drain these or we just wanted to check and see that we have water working everywhere, you do have an override switch, an electronic switch that we can actually push and we should see water coming through the nozzles. Next to that, there is a small breaker switch. If we were ever to run the pumps dry for any reason, uh, you may at some point pop that breaker switch. If you go to turn things back on and your pumps don't engage, come back, let's check the breaker switch. It's a reset, you push the button, and your pump should activate again. Right off of the side of your water pumps is going, going to be the water strainer. This is going to be a daily check. We will unscrew this. You'll find the mesh screen in a small gasket to the inside. Make sure that that gasket or seal is always in place. When we put this thing back on, make sure your screen is clean. Screw it back on before operation. When testing out your water nozzles, you can notice inside of the cab, behind the training seat, four yellow handled ball valves. Top is left gutter broom, next is right gutter broom, third is front spray bar, and the bottom is the elevator. You have the ability from within the cab to turn the water pumps on and open and close those valves to divert or use water where you need it, turn it off where you don't. You'll notice at the gutter brooms that we use a, uh, a nylon type nozzle with a brass fitting to the inside. To check these nozzles, we just simply unscrew the cap and the brass tip from inside will pop out. For any reason, if we need to clean it, if we need to replace it, we can do this all around. You're gonna see two of those at each gutter broom, left and right hand gutter broom. You do have one main nozzle that's located closer to the elevator system. And then the final location for dust suppression is going to be the front spray bar. On the front spray bar, you're going to notice four of the nozzles that are identical to what you see on the gutter broom assembly.